Our crew is coming up here on the launch tower. Next up, as you guys can anticipate, the crew is gonna get out of those Rivians and crew member seven, Kevin Sprogue, is gonna help walk our crew up that launch tower. I remember the first time I ever climbed up the launch tower. It is much higher than, it, than I think it looks in the camera, but since we have such a high energy crew, I'm sure they're gonna be up there in no time. Laura, I know you've seen some of the astronaut training process. Can you give us a little more color on how crew member seven there in the black flight suit is shepherding this journey for the crew? Sure, Jackie. So crew member seven is noted before, really is the seventh member of this crew. So they're with the astronauts from when they arrived down here in West Texas until they're safely in their seats, which is now just moments away. <laughs> Uh, and that hatch is closed. And then after the flight, they again are there to meet them just moments after touchdown. So during the day's pre-launch, crew member seven is responsible for providing the training for nominal launch day, as well as uh, how the astronauts would stay safe if anything off nominal happened. So the astronauts have learned a bit about the New Shepard subsystems. They've used a training capsule to practice things like ingress and securing their harnesses and learned about how to maneuver in zero gravity as best they can here as on Earth, right? As best you can <laughs> yes. on Earth, that's right. Uh, so yeah, by time these future astronauts have spent their pre-launch days in this training, they will have a lot of confidence and we will have a lot of confidence that they will be safe and ready to have just the ride of their lives. We certainly have a very prepared crew that's also in great hands with Kevin and Sarah. If you're looking at the top of the launch tower right now, that's the next stop um, on our cruise path to the capsule. That's the safety shelter on top of the ascent tower here. And Felix getting some great shots of them as they head into the shelter. The crew is gonna stand by in the shelter and await that ingress across the bridge, then the gantry into the crew capsule. Our crew is looking great right now. They're looking very ready to fly. That might be record time. Getting so, the oh my gosh, tower. Look, <laughs> several thumbs up. Oh, definitely some excitement here. So you saw them there just a second ago taking the booties off their shoes. And this is because we want to keep as clean, pristine of an environment inside the crew capsule as possible. Obviously, it's a little bit dusty here in West Texas. Um, so now they are essentially all prepped in their flight suits and their flight shoes and ready to go. With their special guest, of course, our founder, Jeff Bezos, in the security safety shelter with them. Very excited. You know, last time he was up there, we were worried he was going to try and, and go with the right. second human flight crew, but all six seats are full today, so that's not going to be an option. <laughs> Our crew is in the safety shelter, and at this point, crew member seven is working with the tower crew and mission control as we wait that go for them to head across into the crew capsule. So Laura, what are some of these final checkouts prior to bringing the crew on board? Yeah, right, so right now we're in essentially a great staging place in that safety shelter, so we can sync up all of the different things that are happening between mission control, uh, which is some work with the RF systems, the nav systems. All right, and I think we are moving from the shelter. There we go.
All right, so it appears that Ingress has officially begun. Those were some enthusiastic uh. <laughs> bell rings right there. I love that. They were indeed. So heading across the bridge now on their way to the crew capsule. And you might have seen there in that last shot the sign up on the launch tower, light this candle, which is a tribute, of course, to Alan Shepard's famous words just prior to his Freedom 7 launch back in 1961. I just, I love how special that is for Laura Shepard Churchley to see those iconic words. Our crew is about to be entering, sitting in their seats in the crew capsule. And of course, you know, getting those photos, those last minute shots. For me, it would be like wedding photos where people constantly are posting them and you're like, when's it gonna end? I would be posting <laughs> never from my space flight <laughs> for years to come. So very exciting. As you can see, our crew is entering that capsule in descending order. Evan Dick in seat number six, Cameron Bess in seat number five, Lane Bess in seat number four, Dylan Taylor in seat number three, Laura Shepard Churchley in seat number two, and Michael Strahan in seat number one. And in fact, while they're getting situated in the crew capsule, let's take a closer look at today's human third human flight crew, fittingly dubbed again the original six. The moment that I decided that I would be willing to go was here. So you can see Jeff Bezos realize the dream he's had since a child. Watching Jeff and Mark Bezos completely changed my mind. It was amazing. And I had never experienced anything like that. My father was the first American in space, Alan Shepard. And I kind of feel a little bit like I'm following in my father's footsteps. I was attracted to it from a very, very young age. A uh, lifelong dream to actually go to space. Uh, I'm a big believer in the power of space to transform. I've wanted to spend my entire career in aerospace, and I didn't get the opportunity to do that. So now I'm just um, late in my life getting the opportunity to be a part of it. When it became real, I, I went to the family. I said, who wants to go? And the only person that raised their hand was Cameron. <laughs> we weren't thinking so much about it being first father and child as much as the opportunity to experience it together. I just want to see the Earth from that perspective and understand how small of a part we are of something so large. I'm doing this because I think the pioneering nature of this is important. We need people who are going to actually demonstrate the way forward because I think it's a necessary step in the next evolution for humanity. It's certainly an honor to be one of the first LGBTQ plus people in space. You know, I'm no hero. I didn't really work to go to space, but I do think that the visibility that I'm providing for that community is valuable. I'm very excited and incredibly grateful to be going up into space. Part of me wants to go because it's something I thought I would never want to do. I just feel like he's right here with me. And I can't be more excited than I've ever been in my whole life. <laughs> Wow, I mean, that video gave me goosebumps. It's such clearly, I mean, evident from the video, it's such a unique shared experience for the crew. The bonds they form down here in West Texas will last a lifetime. I know Dylan tweeted the other day, they have great crew glue. They're yeah. an awesome crew, <laughs> really tight. 
And at this point, they're in each of their seats. And Kevin, our crew member seven, is helping them into the capsule. He's getting them situated into their seats. We can see all the smiling astronauts through these big windows. Laura, what exactly is Kevin doing right now? What are these final touches before hatch closure? Yeah, so right now they're going through a very critical set of steps. Uh, so for the astronauts, crew member seven is helping them perform a final seat verification. They're ensuring the harnesses are fitted and secured. Um, all while the astronauts pretty soon will start their comm checks uh, with Capcom back in mission control. And over in mission control, they're doing a few other things. They're doing bits on the ECLA system, so environmental control and life support system. Uh, so busy in mission control as well as um, down at the, or out there also at the tower. We have our tower crew, a few more members of the launch crew uh, that are performing the final vehicle closeouts. So when seven and the tower crew and mission control are all ready, uh, they will move into closure of the hatch as well as checking the integrity of the seal on that hatch. A lot going on right now in these final moments before hatch closure. Getting some great shots here from the camera crew. Just saw Laura Shepard Churchley looking very comfortable, very excited in her seat. There we see Evan Best through the window. Great shot right there. Cameron Best and Evan Dick, there we see them. And another important thing we're able to see through the windows right now here is that escape motor right in the center of the RSS first step capsule. Laura, can you tell us a little bit more about that escape motor? Yeah, so like you said, the escape motor, you can see it in the center there. It's a solid rocket motor, um, and that would be used in the case of an emergency. It's a pusher system, so essentially the capsule can push away from the booster if something were to happen with the booster. Um, and one of the really important things about our escape system is we call it a full envelope escape. So essentially in just a few moments here, in about 10 minutes, uh, the capsule will go escape enabled and it will have that capability all the way from on the pad up until uh, the moment of separation. The RSS first step. Let's get started with the comm check. Astronaut Stray, how do you read me? Is good. Copy. Astronaut Weezer. Astronaut Weezer. Weezer. Copy. Astronaut Taylor, how do you read me? Copy. Astronaut Beth, how do you read? This is fantastic. Copy. Astronaut Meets, how do you read? Astronaut Meets, how do you read? Copy. Astronaut Dick, how do you read? Copy all. All right, astronauts, we are at T minus 24 minutes and counting. As we proceed, I'll do my best to keep you updated. For now, just sit back and relax. Thank you for joining us for our third human flight. You just heard a great comms check with our capsule communicator, Sarah Knight, and our full crew of six astronauts, Laura Shepard Churchley, Dylan Taylor, Evan Dick, Lane Bess, Cameron Bess, and the one and only Michael Strahan. It's so fun to say six names. It's a lot, a lot more. And they're all loaded into the RSS First Step, awaiting their life-changing flight to space and back.